Holy cow, you came back for part two. Welcome. We're going to learn about three new tools today in Tinkercad. The work plane, the ruler tool, and the align tool. And this is going to make your drawings much, much more precise. But before we start, let's get your whole work plane set up so you can do the best learning possible. First of all, let me just do that little guy. You should have this video open up in one tab and then Tinkercad open in the other. Then if you remember, you can press Control-1 or Control-2 to switch between tabs. Okay. Even better than that is to pull the tab out like that. Look at that. I'm just going to stick it on the side here. Okay. And now you can work with two tabs open at the same time, two windows. Split screen, that's called. Okay. Now in a Chromebook, they're going to be kind of small, but that's okay. Or another option, it's even the best option, I think, is to play it on your phone or someone's phone, or maybe borrow somebody else's laptop or Chromebook, and then you can have two screens going at the same time. So you can look at one, look at the other, look at one, look at the other. And then during the video, what you want to do is hit pause, try to do that, and then you want to do it, and then you can hit play again, all right? So I'll tell you at key points when to hit, hit the pause button, all right? So let's get started, make this full screen. Go to Tinkercad and hit sign in, and you're going to join with Google. Do it. All right, once you're in, you're going to see your smiley face that you drew last time. These are all your designs if you've done anything else. We're going to click on Create New Design. All right, it's going to take a second to load, especially if you're on a Chromebook. Okay, let's do a quick recap. Last time we talked about the tools on the side here for changing your orientation, and you can always hit the house to go back. These are the shapes you can pull out onto the screen by clicking and dragging. You don't have to do that. And then you can click and drag on the sides to change the size of your cubes. Make them bigger or smaller. And of course, one of the most important buttons, undo. If you did something bad, you can just hit undo. All right, now we don't want that, so I'm just gonna press delete. Okay, we're gonna work with a round shape first. Let's pull out a cylinder. Now, if you remember, you can pull on these corners and that'll change the size. All right, well, we're going to type in some precise measurements. So click on the corner. I'm going to type in here, eight. I'm going to go to the other one, eight. Enter. Pause it. You do it. Eight by eight. Excellent. Now we're going to do the height. This one does the height up and down. See that? And we want a height of 34. Enter. Do it to yours. Eight by eight by 34. Now that we've done that, we need to add a table to the top of it. Uh, here's the problem, ready? If I pull out a table or a box and I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna make that a tabletop. Let's see, I'm, watch, I'm just gonna stretch it here and I'm moving around. Now here comes the problem. How do I put this on top of that? Well, I can drag this arrow right? and then there's a measurement right there. So we could type in 34, that's kind of precise, I think maybe, but we're gonna get even more precise. I'm gonna hit delete. Look at this. It's called our work plane. See that it says work plane down here? All right? That's the area we're working on. You can move that around. I want you to watch this. Ready? I'm going to click on work plane. Or see the little W there? You can press the letter W to speed things up. Click on work plane. I'm going to click on the top of my cylinder. See how it moved the work plane to the top of the cylinder? You do it. Click on work plane. Click on the top of your cylinder. Go. Perfect. Now, if we drag out a box, the box is going to be on the work plane, which is on top of the cylinder. So I'm going to drag a box out. I'm going to change the size. We are going to make this 60 by 80, and then a height really small. We're going to do 5. You do it, and here's the measurements. We want to put the leg in the corner. Now, in order to do that, we can visually just kind of like, ah, okay, that kind of looks good. You can even click on the bottom and, and look at it and be like, all right, but let's get precise, okay? So I'm going to go to the bottom of my drawing, right? You might have to, you can rotate it by dragging the cube right about there. And then I'm going to pull out a ruler. I'm going to click on the ruler. I'm going to come here. I'm going to click. I'm going to zoom in right here. Oops. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click right on the corner of my table. See that? See how it puts a ruler right on the corner? 
All right, pause the video, your turn. Excellent, now you've added a ruler in the corner. And if the ruler went in the wrong spot, you can hit undo, that's fine. Or this little X gets rid of it, okay? And now we can add measurements. Watch this, if I click on that, holy cow, there's a bunch of measurements. The green ones right here, right here it's four, right here it's four. The green measurements tell you how far something is. So if I change this four to a 10, see how it moves it? Precisely where I wanted it. If I change this one to a 15, it moves it precisely where I want it. It's like using a ruler in real life. We're gonna throw in the measurements on the green. Now the eight, the eight is the diameter of our cylinder, so don't change that. That's the blue one, we don't change the blue ones. So on the green arrow, I'm gonna type in a five. And on this green arrow, I'm gonna type in five. All right, and now we look at it. If you look at any table, the legs are all just pushed in just a little bit, and that's so you don't whack your knees on them as much. Your turn, do it. Offset it by five. Excellent. If you couldn't figure it out, rewind it, try it again. I'm gonna get rid of this ruler by clicking on the X. We need to have two of these. We actually need four, but we're gonna do one more for right now. So in order to get another one, we click on it. We're gonna hit the duplicate button. We're gonna drag it over here, duplicate it. Now that you've duplicated it, all right, you can move this around. I'm gonna pull out another ruler by clicking on ruler. I'm gonna go right here to this corner, all right? Right there on the corner. Now, the problem is, I'm gonna hit house. The problem is the ruler's going off to the right and we need the ruler to go to the left. So what you can do is by clicking on this red circle, see a red circle right there? It's gonna change the direction. Now it's going to the left, now it's coming down towards you, and now it's going who knows where. So keep clicking on this red circle until it goes up the side of the table and off to the left. Excellent. Now we're gonna precisely set this leg. So if I Come to the bottom and you can drag on the cube to get to your bottom. All right, we're gonna work with, remember the color, the green one. So here my green one is six. I'm gonna change it to a five. Here my other green one is a seven. I'm gonna change it to a five. I'm gonna click off it. Do it on yours. Fantastic, if you mess up, remember, undo is your friend or you can just delete the thing altogether and start over with Duplicating another one. All right, that's fine. All right, five. But, oh, that one's already five. Perfect. All right, now we're done with this ruler, so let's get rid of it. All right, we're going to rotate our cube around and we're going to do it again. I'm going to zoom out here. Okay, I'm going to put a ruler in the corner right there. Line up the red. This one's going the right way. If it's not, click on this to spin it. Duplicate that guy, drag it over to roughly where you need it, and change the green ones to five. Enter, five, enter. All right, do the last two. Excellent. All right, you should have something with four legs on it, okay? And the work plane's still in the air. Let's put the work plane back on the bottom. Click on work plane. And then come over here, just click on the bottom down here. See this? You can sort of see it's outlined. Boom, it'll put the work plane back on the bottom. Okay, do it. Now, these are all different colors because they're still not put together. So let's make everything the same. So just select it all, or you can press Control A for select all, and we're going to group it. We learned about that in last time. So click on group. It's going to put it all together, be the same color. And if you don't like the color, you can click on this color chip and make it any color you want. I don't care what color it is. All right, take a screenshot of that and then come into the document and you're gonna define what a work plane is. And we already said that that's the area where you can bring shapes out and you can align them and you get your uh, designs created on. And then down here, you're gonna paste a screenshot of your table, all right? And then you're gonna watch part two of this and finish the rest. So hit pause, take a screenshot, and I'll see you in a few seconds.